My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we meditate upon the theme, Mary the First Tabernacle. If you seek Mary, you will find Jesus, and you will learn a bit more about what is in the heart of God, who humbles himself, discarding all manifestations of his power and majesty, to take the form of a servant. Speaking in human terms, we could say that God outdoes himself because he goes much deeper than what he needs to go in order to save us. The only way to measure what God does in our life is to say that it cannot be measured. It comes from a madness of love which leads him to take on our flesh and to bear the weight of our sins. St. Teresa of Child Jesus said to priests to preach less frequently about the greatness of Mother Mary and more about her imitability. It may be all very well, she wrote, to extol the greatness of Mother Mary, but if you want people to love her, you will have to show her as one of us, easily accessible to all. If while listening to a sermon on Our Lady, we are constrained from beginning to end to express all the admirations, so we shall soon grow weary. Instead of insisting on the wonderful in Mary's life, we have to stress on our everyday actions which will attract us to her. You know what made Mary the first tabernacle? She was the mother of God. This dignity raised her to the first tabernacle. It was Mary who gave us the first Eucharist. You know how? First of all, the Eucharist is a gift of Mother Mary because its, in its institution entirely depends upon the incarnation and the divine motherhood of Mother Mary. Second of all, the Eucharist is a gift of God because while instituting the Eucharist, Jesus had mainly in view his mother. Lastly, the Eucharist is a gift of God because of the reason of her universal power, the realm of grace. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask this first Eucharist or first tabernacle to reach us to her son. And let us also recite the prayer Angelus with great full affection in our daily life. Amen.